And uh, uh, as I was saying, uh, there's a group, Dreamers Circus, that's on tour in the United States. And uh, we were contacted uh, to see if we wanted to do an interview. And it sounded interesting enough, and uh, here we are. Uh, who am I speaking with? Good morning. Good morning. You're speaking with Runa Tansko Terrenson from Beamer Circus. Runa, first of all, I want to say whoever I called uh, in your lovely country <laughs> was the nicest person in the world. Uh, they told me where I called. <laughs> they wanted to make sure. Well, they want to know what I was calling for, and uh, thank God it was, it's the middle of the day there, and I didn't wake somebody up at some ungodly hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about. First of all, what is uh, Dreamer Circus? So Dreamer Circus is uh, a trio, instrumental uh, trio, um, that uh, we met uh, 13 years ago now um, in a jam session at a festival in Denmark. And we share a deep love of Scandinavian uh, traditional folk music. And that is sort of the point of departure of, of all our music. Um, but we also take inspiration from many other genres. I've myself been studying a lot of classical violin. I also play in a string quartet, so so classical and jazz and, and pop and all, all kinds of other genres we try to be inspired from. Um, so but 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 the strong foundation is is our shared love for Scandinavian folk music. Now describe uh Try to compare for us, for people listening, what Scandinavian folk music sounds in comparison with what would be considered American folk music. Well, the difference is actually not that big. Um, I mean, it varies whether you go to Denmark or, or, or Sweden or Norway. Uh, of course, there are tons of different dialects um, of the music um, depending on where you go. Danish music tends to be uh, quite easygoing, light, often in, in major, um, often in, in two, four meter, whereas the, the Swedish music tends to be uh, maybe a little darker and often in three meter. Um, this is, of course, a generalization, but, but, um, but I think many people would, would say that it's somewhat similar to American folk music in, in many aspects. Um, think about that music, the folk music has always been uh, dance music and uh, and it's not until recent times that it was actually brought onto the the concert stage so so the 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 roots of the music is really uh, the dance um, and that is you know the same whether you go to uh, North Carolina or you go to a lesser in Denmark you know um, so, so many similarities, many things that 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 binds the two tra traditions together, but but obviously also uh, certain dialects that you can hear uh, here and there. Uh, we're speaking about Dreamer Circle, who are in America now. I'm looking at the uh, at press release, and I'm looking at a picture, and uh, it it looks more like a little um, looks more like a a little rock concert with you with you folks on stage <laughs> and, and with the audience so yeah. close to you so obviously what you do obviously includes some very up upbeat music yeah well it also includes upbeat music but but uh, we always strive to create concerts that is uh, very varied um, and you know, gets around in in all uh, areas of of emotions because what music is is basically storytelling with 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 notes, right? And um, so so we always try to create sort of a journey from the first piece until the last piece, and um, you know, a, a travel through the concert uh, which goes in many different directions. So it's it's not only upbeat. Um, it's music that both speaks to your feet, I guess, and to your heart and to your mind a little bit also. So uh, uh, there's a little bit of, of, of everything there. But, but uh, as I started saying also, um, always, you know, founded in, in, in the sort of Scandinavian tradition. Okay, now you're, you're opening up uh, on the 27th in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania? Mm-hmm, yeah. Now, how often, do you come, how, how often do you come to the States to play? Uh, is this the first time in the States? It's not the first time. Um, I think it's I think it's our 
fourth tour actually now uh, in the U.S. Um, and we have another one coming in uh, later this season in in the spring. So so um, it's it's one or two uh, tours a year. It ha- it has been difficult <laughs> the last couple of years, obviously. But uh, now we are back on the road, and it's it's really nice for us to tour in the in the U.S. because. You know, also with with many people having some Scandinavian ancestry in in the U.S. is is um, is fun to to talk with people, everyone over there. Um, and for some, yeah, I, I think our our music actually relates uh, to a lot of people over there, um, which is is makes us feel very much at home. And and we uh, always experience such a joy from from the audience over there so it's it's really it's really a pleasure for us performing in the u.s now when you when you book performances over here uh are there requirements uh, for sizes uh or do you play between two and three hundred people or for like thousands of people <laughs> it depends um we can play in a performing arts center occasionally at church uh universities it's 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 different but but Usually, it's within the the two hundred to four hundred people. Um, I would say, and and I think it's it's a good size. But we don't say no to uh, any bigger venues if, if that's uh, the offer. <laughs> I, I'm going to the reason I ask is I'm going to give you a couple of uh, places uh, around here, and I think that mm-hmm. uh, what you do with Dreamer Circus would be a big hit around here. One of them is a place called Music Mountain in Falls Village, Connecticut. Uh, they are oh, wow. yeah. they they are a chamber music site, but they are open to all forms of music, uh, and they seat about mm-hmm. two hundred and fifty to three hundred people, uh, and that's called mm-hmm. Music Mountain in Falls Village, Connecticut. And another site which I know which would be interested in you when you're in the states is called the Stissing Center, the Stissing Center in Pine Plains, New York. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the next time you set up a tour, if you're going to be in the in the Northeast, uh, it might be worth a call to set up to them in advance and see if you could set up uh, shows because I think you would sell out shows in both those both those locations here in our area. <laughs> well, that sounds amazing. <laughs> we'll look at that. All right. So uh, uh, just just talking to you and, and seeing the press release and and looking what you do, um, you're bring. This is a very. This area is very inclusive in in entertainment. Uh, everything from, like I said, uh, from chamber music to classical music to jazz to new age, and it sounds like what you do is a fusion uh, of, of 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 this type of music. And this is the type of area which would really really appreciate something like that. So, uh, really, uh, uh, I hope you remember those names and you write them down because it'd be nice to see you uh, you guys perform in this area. Yeah, well, thank you for that. It's 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 very nice to hear, and and for sure we'll look into it. Um, so so that that sounds that sounds amazing. Um, really, thank you. <laughs> well, all right. Well, have 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 fun on your tour. It's a great thing that uh, we don't have to worry about COVID nineteen anymore. And have have fun on your tour. That's right. <laughs> in the states. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, sir. From Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, to Richmond, Virginia, on the twenty eighth. Uh, to Burlington, Vermont, uh, on uh, September 30th, October 1st, in Saratoga, New York, and Sunday and Monday, October 2nd and 3rd at 7 o'clock in Washington, D.C., October 5th in Provo, Utah. Uh, the group's name is Dreamer Circus. Uh, once again, thanks for joining us this morning, and thanks for calling back after we dialed the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me on board, sir, and, and uh, we're looking very much forward. All right, thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Dreamers Circus. Sounds like uh, really something that would be a hit around here.